all characters in this game are over the age of 18. In case anybody was ever wondering. Sound? This game is not suitable for children who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a positive experience playing this game. Would you like to review detailed count? No, I'm okay. Wait. Hey. Hey. Yes! Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube and welcome back technically, but welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. So, this is the same game as the original DDLC, plus more. So, there's like extra stuff within the story. I think there's like an art book. Um, enable content warnings. I don't know what that means, um, but basically this is the same game as um, the original, but they just added more stuff. And the reason why I'm playing this as like a regular video instead of just live streaming it is because back when I did play it in like 2017, I like deleted all that old content when I started my rebranding. And it's, it's no longer visible for you guys to watch, which is fine because I'm a new man now. So, welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Let's not even waste any time. Let's just hop right into it. Please enter your name. Okay, so you already know who I am. Every time they give me an option to enter my name into an anime-based Japanese game, I'm gonna go with the standard Kurisu. It's your boy Kurisu-kun. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. Hey, you already know what happens to Sayori. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel I almost feel better off. I almost feel better off running away. I still can't read to this day. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori come up to me. Ha! Ha! I overslept again! But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I... Oh, that's me. I need to... I forgot. Wait. Did I have lines in the last game? Anyways. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Kurisu. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want to think we're... I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Who, whose girl is this? Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Kurisu, have you decided on a club to join yet? Yes, it's called the Anime Club, you see. We sit around and watch anime for a proximity of like maybe an hour, an hour and a half. And then sometimes we bring in our manga and we share it. Or sometimes we even start like an anime manga club and we bring in the same manga. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> a club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Hold on, let me, let me scroll through my memory logs. Nope, definitely do not remember saying that shit, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively, dismissively go along with, excuse me, with whatever she's going on about. 
Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me. When I'm perfectly content just getting by on average, getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Again, why not just join an anime club or like an esports club or something? Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat. Is that neat? Is that the word you're looking for? In a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Cortana once said never to make a girl a promise you can't keep. Will you at least promise? Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little. Even if she does over exaggerate everything inside of her head. Ugh. I think I need to read slower. I don't know what it is. The school day isn't as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Yes, because staring at the wall is gonna help you gain motivation, not like the club list out on the blackboard or the bulletin board somewhere, or like maybe even talking to somebody who's the leader of a club. You know, that's fine. You can find your motivation by staring at a wall. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. So there is one! Why did you start with that in the beginning? Why did you start? Okay, to be fair, if I do seem surprised at some of the things that happen in the game, it's because I have not played since 2017, 2018, and I'm completely like oblivious to just about every of the little details, but I know the major stuff. So don't at me if I seem surprised. Hello, Sayori. Sayori must have come in the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Damn, even the teacher walked out and said, fuck this kid. <laughs> I thought I'd catch I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you were even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. Uh, if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you would... So I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori's vice president of the literature club. Literature. What do we do? Sit around in a circle and read books all day? <laughs> no. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99.99999% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who was proposed the club, who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. On God. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring you in, bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Wait. Oh, that was me. Was that me? That was me. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead. Or if she's so cunning as to, as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for cupcakes. I mean, same, but not, not same. I can't tell if the mic is too close or not. How are you guys doing today? I missed y'all. I haven't made a video in forever. I 
fucking miss you guys. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom doors. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. I think last time I played this, I tried to give her like a, a, a soft British voice. Seriously? Wait, 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 what kind of voice did I give Natsuki? I think I gave her like a really high raspy one. Higher than Sayori, but that was when I was a younger boy, so I don't know if I can do it. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, uh, wait. Crap, I'm getting confused. <laughs> this is the only problem with these kind of games. I don't know what kind of voices to give everybody. Ah, Kurisu. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude whose name's apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. That's freshman for all you non-anime watchers. Or just non other country because I'm pretty sure in the UK they call it first year too right she's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori you can just ignore her when she gets moody Sayori says that quietly in my ear then turns back toward the other girls anyways this is Natsuki always full of energy and this is Yuri the smartest in the club D don't say things like that Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I gotta contain my excitement. Also, my shirt is technically a spoiler, so if you've never seen this game before, you are not gonna get it. That's right. It's great to see you again, Curtis. Monica smiles sweetly. Yeah, we go way back. Way back to 2017. Like a pair of cans with beans. Bars. Mm. I'm done. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Dashy 2019? I forget when he said it. Come sit down, Kurisu. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I get a little carried away. I got a little too excited. Same thing. I, I was literally going to say the same thing. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's a bit widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki, when, yes, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Little Nekos. Ne Nekos. Neko. Yeah, Neko is cat in Japanese. I don't know why I'm doing this. I have a lot of energy right now. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Kawaii desu! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one from grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. It's delicious. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. If 
I just slowly examine this cupcake, I'll figure out the perfect angle to start eating. Who cares about that? Just eat the damn cupcake. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Hey. She's obviously feeling me, you know what I'm saying? She's obviously, she gave me a cupcake. She was like, I made an extra one for you, even though I kind of knew that you were coming, kind of didn't expect you to. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. This is good. Thank you, Nancy. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Eh, yeah, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, Well, maybe. But not for you, you know? You dummy. <laughs> Weirdo. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole lot of tea in the- you keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I- I guess? I usually just pop open a Mountain Dew can, but you know, I mean, tea is good. Hey, Mountain Dew, sponsor me though, I'm like your biggest fan. <laugh> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's... that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that... you know... I believe you. I believe that you're feeling me, that you're trying to impress me, you know what I'm saying? Alright, I'm done. Yuri is my favorite, though. That's my girl. Well, tea and reading might not be my pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Okay, so what happened was I was walking home from school and then a meteor crashed in front of me and told me that if I don't join this literature club, I am going to destroy the fabric of reality. And that's how it happened. True story. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Hashtag equality. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the bait club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. I can't stand politics in general. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Literally, politics in the real world. <laughs> I'd much rather take something I preferably enjoy, personally enjoy, and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then, then I'm fulfilling my dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri nods. Yuri also nods. Excuse me. Also in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Only reason why there's not a whole lot of people in the club is because that would have made this game a lot harder. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all of their putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Yeah, cause trust, when I open up a book, the first word... <laughs> but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow, that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Monica? Right, right, Monica. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. 
Monica must have worked really hard to find just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Again, first word. So Kurisu, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these days, these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Somebody said manga? Somebody said manga? It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Hey! Hey! Manga is literature. Manga is reading. If I read all of One Piece in one day, you better believe I'm virtually literate. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Like Lord of the Rings. Good one. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign, in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Most introverts are like that. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse, immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway... <laughs> Yo, I don't know how I read that so fast. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Bitch, pass me the rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes takes me to another world and I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the world you look at, the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were writing a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Hey, anybody who follows my TikTok, you already know. I'm not cute. I'm manly. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The trust, the truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerability, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? No, I, I would not expect her to have writing experience. She is literally a walking dictionary. The way that she talks is so fluid. Even though I'm giving her that voice, that fluid, that fluid conversational tone. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable about comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. So does uh, does anybody else hear this music? No, just me. That's cool. 
I'll be going through some other psychological issues later in the game anyway, so don't worry about it. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri looked next. Natsuki and Yuri looked quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Kurisu? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there is still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with the with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never once said that I was joining this club, homie. Like, you gotta chill out with all that. I still gotta think about, like, do I go into the anime club where a bunch of otakus are looking at anime titties, or do I go into a literature club with a bunch of females to look at real titties? I'ma stop. I'ma stop. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Pretty Sue, you, you all. I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls because I'm so down bad. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club because I'm down bad. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Terry wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for cupcakes, I would have been super pissed! Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Kurisu, I look forward to seeing how, how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Kurisu, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home anymore because she's always stayed after for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart and the... the, 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 the with that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure fortune, I'm sure good fortune will find me. Yes, but that's until you actually start expecting something out of all of this, and then nothing good comes your way. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here because I've been recording for like half an hour. Yeah, 30 minutes is half an hour. Don't question me. It's 12 a.m. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> Shut up, Siri. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. We will pick up next video. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to comment your favorite girl. Um, in the comments section, you have the choices between Natsuki, Sayori, Monica, and Yuri. Did I say Yuri already? Yuri, Natsuki, Sayori, and Monica. Um, 
let me know if you guys want me to continue this. It's been forever since I played DDLC, and I'm very hyped to get back into it, see what new stuff they've added. This was apparently a really big deal, um, and it took me a little longer to get this game because of, like, financial issues. So, um, yeah, we're going to be picking up the next episode. This is when we're going to write the poem next video. So I'm going to get out of here. Y'all, watch this video, like it up, tell me who your favorite girl is, tell me what you're excited for most to see DDLC return again. And, uh, how does my intro go again? I love y'all, stay safe, take it easy, and big body out. Hey, yo. What is this? Hey, yo. Side stories? Side stories are stories of friendship that are unrelated to the events of the main game. To get all six side stories, try writing poems for different girls and viewing their special scenes in DDOC. Hey, yo. I think I just... Entered something that I shouldn't have seen yet. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, yo. Okay, we'll explore all of that and... We'll explore all that in the next video. I I'm gonna get out of here. I love y'all. Take it easy and big body out.